Hi, this is Mike Queen from WinCNC, and today I'm going to do a little more on a video tutorial I did on July 25th of 2014, about two days ago, two or three days ago. And I just want to explain some of what you saw there. The first thing that I did was I carved this, these two words in and out. I carved one inward and I carved I carved the word in inward and I carved the word out outward and it come out looking like this and you can see that the letters on the word in are carved in and the letters on the word out are carved out. That's pretty easy and the instructions are on another video on that other video that I did and that would be right here Aspire and VCAR Pro Tutorial VCAR in and out with cleanup and that's what I want to go over today I want to go over how I did the cleanup and why it worked so back to Aspire and as I said this should work in VCAR Pro also. I just do not have that on this computer. Uh, you can see here that it that Aspire does a very good job of doing V carving. It cleans all this up. It allows you to use a second tool for for uh, taking out larger areas. And I use that pretty extensively here. On the word in, I used a quarter inch end mill for my cleanup. On both of these, I used a 60 degree V bit for the V carving inward. And I used on this inward, the word in, and the inward cut, I used an eighth inch end mill. Okay, and it, and it cleaned it out pretty well, but it got down to these small areas right here, like in here and up here down in here, here, that eighth inch end mill is too big, it couldn't get in there. So I created another toolpath, uh, a pocket toolpath using a 1 16th inch end mill, and I was able to get down in here and clean these out. The really good thing about that is uh, I only pocketed where I needed it. It didn't go around, it didn't go around all of it. It only got in the areas that I really needed the uh, the clean out. And that's what I'm gonna go over today. Also on this word out, I used a quarter inch end mill to, to carve it all out, other than the V carving. And I used an eighth inch for my pocket clean out. And as I said, that's what I'm gonna go over now. Uh, I'm going to go back over to the toolpath tab. I'm going to select this pocket five. And I could have done a better job of naming these. I could have said uh, um, eighth inch cleanup or sixteenth inch cleanup or whatever. But that's all it is. And if we look here, I only got in these tight areas. And I'll, I'll zoom in and move over a little bit so you can see it went in here and cleaned these out but it didn't go around all of this well it, it didn't start out that way when I did the offset I did the offset around all of this so why didn't it uh, carve around the entire works there that was because I made the the toolpath too small and I'll explain it to you right here this is the uh, toolpath that I did that on. I'm going to zoom that in a little and I'll come back into the same area right here. I The, t the tool that I'm using is a .0625, a 1 16th inch end mill. So what I did was is I created a toolpath that was .062. So I knew that that tool could not get in here between these lines. But because there were these tight areas, 
I knew that these tight areas, these, these areas out here, would be big enough for that tool to get into. And you can see that uh, it did a pretty good job. Now up in here, it still didn't get up in here. It still didn't get into these real tight areas. But you can see that it did a pretty good job. It did not, however, go around all of the places because the distance between these two lines was less than 0 0.0625. It was 0 0.062. And therefore, the tool could not get between them. I was doing pocket, which cleans in between two lines. Uh, if you look all around here, everywhere where these places are, that's where I uh, was able to get into because there's extra space here. And that was my whole idea. That's where I came up with the idea. I thought, well, why can't I do that? And, and I was able to do it. And you can see that it, it does a pretty good job if we get this one. It can't get in between these two lines, but it's definitely able to get in here. There's no hollowed out space here. The, uh, in this wider area here, that 16th inch end mill can definitely get in there and do the clean outs. And that's why I did it this way. Uh, now I'll switch over to my 1 8th inch clean out and I've to do that I've got to go back over to the other side and I've got to turn off my clean in and turn on my clean out layers and by the way I did a lot of this in layers and, and be sure and watch the other video because I show you exactly how I did this and now I'll go to F12 again and this time I will select my pocket 6 and same thing. Uh, I used an eighth inch end mill to do this clean out, but when I did the uh, tool path, when I set these lines, I set them so that it was too narrow for the tool to go in between here. So instead of 0.125, I did something like 0.121 or 0.122. I wanted to make sure it was big enough area for it to be able to get in here and do some work but I wanted also for it to be too tight, too narrow for the tool to be able to go anywhere that it wasn't actually needed. Notice that uh, the same thing here. There's a large area here where a 1 8 inch end mill can easily get into. A quarter inch end mill can't get through here, but a 1 8 can easily pass through here. So it does this, but when it gets to right here, it can't go any further because the two lines are too close together. And that's the whole idea. It got in these corners and cleaned them out. Here, here, all around here, up here in this area. You can see that it got in here, got in here in these corners of the T. So even though I've never seen anyone do this, I've never seen a video on this or, or anything, uh, I just thought that this would be a a good training tutorial because this is how I do my cleanouts and I've never seen anyone else do anything like this so now I'm going to back over to my F my this and I'll go back over to here and now I'm going to show you the cleanout and and you can see in this area that it's what it's actually doing it's that same thing right here well no I've got the wrong one up here so if I go back to F11 and I'll select my clean in you can see that uh, that it's cleaning out in this area we come back to here and you can see this cleaning it out it also got up in this area if we look back here that's this right here it hit here and here so if we go back to this you can see that it's hitting there and there and even though it looks like these are way out here it's actually getting in here and does this clean out and what I'm going to do now is come back over to my toolpath side and I will preview that and you can see it do the clean out I'll turn it off first so you can see that it has a lot of rough area here uh, these out here are going to be done with the eighth inch end mill so I'll just go ahead and, and pocket 
this 16th inch end mill preview visible toolpath and look how much cleaner that is this area was all cleaned out right here if you remember it, all, it was all rough and everything now it's all cleaned out uh, and now I can do the eighth inch and it's going to do the same thing it's going to get in here and, and work these areas that the quarter inch end mill couldn't get into it's also only going to work on the areas that it needs to do and to show you that over here again I've got to come back over turn this layer off and turn this one on and you can see that this is the area that we're looking at there right here um, and it's going to get down here it's going to go a little bit right down here and if I come back over to F12 again, uh, I'll turn the toolpath off. And you can see all this rough that's here, up here by the T, um, here under the U. And if I turn that on, you can see that it's getting in there. It's doing the work up here in the corners, all four corners. It's doing all this work. So if I preview the vis visible toolpath, now you see it back on preview visible toolpath and now you don't it's all gone so I hope you understand how what I did worked um, that's why I did the offset so narrow I didn't uh, do a 0.125 offset for an eighth inch end mill I did like a 0.122 and that meant that the tool couldn't get through there all the way, but it could get into the areas that needed cleaned out. Same for the 16th. I didn't do a 0 .0625. I did a 0 .062, and the tool could not go between it, but it could get into the areas that needed cleaned out. So I hope this helps you understand. And if you have any questions, give me a yell. If you like my tutorial, uh, let me know in the comments section. Uh, if you like the videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know of anything that you'd like for me to try. Uh, if I'm capable of doing it, I will definitely give it a try. Thanks a lot for watching.